Hey guys, this is Manak of Silbro and welcome to another lecture on Tech Electrical Designer. And today we're going to just see how to apply a basic uh, UDL in the form of uh, you know just a uh, dead load on a beam and uh, analyze it Tech Electrical Designer and see the shear force and bending one diagram. And in the later videos, also we'll see you know other load formulations and also supports. Okay, so let's begin. So basically, I've just created a new file, and uh, after that new file, you know the you go to model, and you just go to the structure window, and if you just hover over the levels, you know that there are basically one level is always there. So since we're not creating a building this time, we'll just uh, stay in the basic uh, this level here, which is the structure base. Double click on it, the structure base will open, and uh, for creating a beam, we need the grid lines. Uh, here, so you go to the model and we'll just uh, click on this grid line. Let's take a five meter beam. You can just click anywhere and uh, you know, in the horizontal direction, press F2 and then we'll just go five and click on enter. So it is a five meter beam. We are for you know, as any other beam, we need a particular grid lines also. So we'll click here and select here like this. And uh, you know, I can just select this parallel quick option and then uh, select this one and uh, uh, just uh, give it a distance of uh, five meter enter so okay uh, this doesn't work you can just delete this and uh maybe we'll just go to regular grid line here and this will work right that's good okay, so this is this option is better so uh here you will see five meter grid line so we will just want to create a beam here and for creating a beam First of all, you know, I can define the properties. Let's uh, define, let's say, they go for a beam of 250 into 350 uh, mm. And then uh, I can just define the steel grade. Let's go with FB uh, 550, which is the current steel grade which is being used right now in uh, this part of the country. And uh, after that, we can just save this beam and we'll just give a name here B250, because uh, 350 is the name of the beam, and click on OK. And after that, left click and then double click on the next span. So once the beam is defined, if you double click on the beam and click go to releases, by default it is fully fixed. But still, you have to assign the support since there are no columns here. So you have to assign the support. So just uh, select this and you can go to supports here. So if you see the fixed support, just assign support here and assign a support here. Just go to uh, the 3D view, you can see the support has been fixed, support has been assigned. So uh, now we'll apply a UDL here on the beam. So we'll go to dead load. Now the self weight of the beam will be taken automatically. You don't have to apply the self weight like we do in Astad Pro. We assign the self weight. Uh, it calculates automatically, but we have to assign. But here we don't have to assign the self weight also. It will take automatically. Okay. So uh, now we'll just see that we have selected dead load and we'll go to load and the full UDL. Uh, generally, load on beams is the for the walls. The dead load on the beams is for the walls. They calculate and apply it. So it's uh, so we apply a similar value. Well, let's say twelve kilonewton per meter, and we just single click on it. If you want to see whether it has been applied or not, you can just uh, select this three D view. Okay, in this uh, very option, and you can see uh, how uh, easily it shows you. So we'll go to structure three D, and in structure three D also you can see it's like that. You can see the dead load. Here, which has been applied. Zoom in and zoom out with the help of mouse. Pan with the help of if you just click the mouse middle button and rotate it around, it has a pan option. Right click and then you can just basically uh, rotate this. Okay, you can do it like this and go to analyze. And uh, here uh, we'll do first order linear analysis, or you can just click on analyze all static. It will do first order linear analysis by default. Okay, so uh, here it is. We have applied only one load, so for the dead load, it is showing all the results. So if you want to see all the results, first of all, go to this, uh, let's see the, let's say the shear force and uh, bending moment first. So 1D results and here we'll just go to, uh, let's say this 1D results is called go to uh, shear major. So you can see the shear major, but it is not showing the value. You can see the value here within the box. Okay. But if you want to see the value in the diagram, just go to text. And then go to forces. So you see the forces here, uh, which has been applied. So this is a shear force. And if you want to increase the magnitude, you can just increase the magnitude here in the 1D results like this. Okay. This is a shear force. And if you want to see the bending moment, go to moment major. So this is the bending moment. And if you just uh, uh, see this, the shear major and moment major is minus 36 and 18 here. You can see 
the value, the mean of the this uh, upper value maximum is 30 minus 36, and the minimum when up you know, maximum value in the bottom portion is 18. So it is showing that. And if you want to see the, let's say, uh, you want to see the, let's uh, see the deflections total in uh, Z direction. You can see the deflection also. You want to see the values and show the values also. So let's uh, just uh, go Excel course here and see the deflection here. And if you just increase it, this one, you can change the magnitude. So this two deflection is two here. And I'll turn off the deflection here, and you can see the minor shear force also, uh, and major shear force. So like this, we can uh, see the shear force and bending moment. Uh, and if you want to just uh, calculate the shear force and bending moment for, for a beam, like you do in uh, manual, like and like you do in STAD and details and other software, you can do it here. And you can see the graphics is uh, pretty. Uh, detailed as well and if you want i can also uh, design a single beam uh, here and if you want to just uh, let's say apply a point row so how will you do that let's uh, find out okay so we'll just uh, go to this uh, structure 3d and we'll just go here and uh, maybe uh, control a or select it like this and delete it right so supports will not be deleted. Let's take a five meter beam. You can just select and delete the support also, but let it be there. Let's take a five meter beam here. Uh, go to model and we'll go to beam and we'll select our beam which we have created and uh, left click and double click here on the beam. And now we want to apply a point load on the beam. Okay. So uh, for that, let's uh, go to dead, select the dead load in the, end, the structure base and we'll go to load and we will have this option of point. Now, you can just uh, pick the uh, this uh, point to edit and uh, suppose uh, we have the point load of, let's say, uh, six kilonewton and you can uh, select the point of application. So you can see this is five, uh, this is your uh, six meter and this is your zero meter. So you can just select the, you know, the position where you want to apply this particular load. So let's say I want to apply at the middle here, at three meter, you can just uh, over over the here, or you can just click F2, okay? Uh, F2, and then uh, just, uh, just, you know, do this uh, three, okay? So we'll just apply at three here, uh, and uh, at three, and uh, you can see uh, this load in the 3D view. Okay? In the 3D view, you can see the point load, uh, point load has been applied, and, uh, after the application of this point load, in addition to that, you can also apply the UDL also, but let's see the shear force and bending moment diagram for this point load. So we'll go to analyze and analyze our static, or you can just press first or linear, and uh, we'll see the uh, shear major, okay? Shear major here, or you can see in the 3D view as well. Go to uh, just uh, analyze and uh, analyze all static, and you can see the shear major here, and uh, I can see the bending moment. Let's go moment major. You can see the bending moment here. We can see the deflection and forces are you know selected here in this actual force. And then we'll see the deflections in the z direction. Just turn on the deflection. You can see there is a very negligible deflection here, but the deflection shape will be like this. So like this, you can uh, see the bending moment and shear force. And if you want to say, let's say uh, you know just uh. uh change the type of supports, you can also do that. So uh, let's, uh, you know, just there are two supports. So let's give a roller in the right side and, you know, just pin in the, uh, you know, left side. So for pin supports, you can, you can see that the rotation is allowed. So there is no moment. So all the moments will be free. Okay. And just do free and also free. You can see the diagram changes like this. Okay. And uh, for this this one, uh, we give a roller support. And for roller support, you can see only the uh, only restraint is coming from the top. That is Fy here. Only the Fy will be restrained, and uh, Fx and Fz will be free here. And this will be free. So this is a roller support. And uh, here for the same type of supports, let's uh, go and analyze and analyze all static. Okay, you can see the deflection here. 
uh, which has changed and just straight away go to the results and uh, this turn of the deflection for now and we'll see the shear major you we'll see the shear force uh, here and you can see the moment major here okay so uh, now you can also change this let's uh, see and uh, make this one let's say we'll make this one as a uh, pinned as well okay so this one we'll make as uh, fixed and this one also we'll make as fixed so now both are pinned now we'll go to analyze and analyze all static and you can see this is depending sorry shear force diagram looks like and uh, go to and sorry go to results and sorry there's a moment and it was shear force it looks like this for both sides of the um, okay sorry this one is uh, this one is pin and this one is fixed so if we just uh, select this and uh, make this pinned as well that is uh, make the moments free okay moments free and uh, free and uh, this one also free and then we go to analyze and uh, analyze all static and then results and then you see the this moment major like this and shear major so like this you can just uh, play around and uh, you can just change the type of supports you can see the roller in in stat you can see the fixed part but here you can easily just uh, do on the ends which are free and change the type of supports you can assign the roller you can assign the fixed support, you can assign the, uh, <clears throat> you know, pin chip supports, and then you can just find out the shear force and bending movement. So I'll just come up with more videos later, but this is the basics of uh, all. How would you find this video? Comment, uh, make sure to uh, let me know in the comment section and drop a like, it really helps on uh, this channel. Bye-bye, keep learning.